Hi, I'm Ben Miller. Thank you to the Journal of the American College of Surgeons for letting us present biologic versus synthetic mesh for repair of peristomal hernias, post hoc analysis of a multicenter randomized controlled trial. This was a post hoc analysis of a randomized controlled trial that compared biologic to synthetic mesh for the repair of contaminated ventral hernias. All peristomal hernia repairs included in the study were open retromuscular type repairs with transversus abdominis release. The two mesh types used were stratus biologic mesh and a barred medium weight polypropylene mesh. The mesh configurations for the peristomal hernia repair were either a retromuscular keyhole or retromuscular sugar baker technique. The keyhole technique was done either by slitting the mesh or creating a cruciate incision in the mesh. 108 patients were included, about half in the biologic arm and half in the synthetic arm. At two years, we had over 91% follow-up. Patient characteristics and operative details were similar between the two groups. At two years, surgical site occurrences requiring procedural intervention were similar between synthetic and biologic mesh. Reoperation rates were also similar between the two treatment arms. There were four mesh-related erosions that occurred, two in the biologic and two in the synthetic arm, and no patient required a mesh excision. As far as hernia recurrences go, 30% of patients in the biologic group had a recurrence, 26% in the synthetic group. These differences were not significant. And then hernia recurrences according to repair technique, 30% of patients in the keyhole approach had hernia recurrence, and 11% of patients in the retromuscular sugar baker group had a recurrence. There was a trend toward fewer recurrences in the sugar baker group, however, these differences were not significant. Quality of life, according to the EQ5D, which is a global quality of life measure, improved for both groups from baseline and was similar at two years. Quality of life measured by the EQ5D VAS also improved from baseline and was similar between the two groups at two years. Hernia-related quality of life also improved from baseline and was similar for biologic and synthetic mesh at two years. Cost was higher for the biologic mesh driven by the mesh price, which is about $23,000 for biologic mesh compared to $100 for synthetic mesh. In conclusion, biologic and synthetic mesh have similar performance in peristomal hernia repair in terms of wound morbidity, reoperations, and hernia recurrence. Quality of life improved after peristomal hernia repair and is similar for both mesh types. However, the cost of biologic mesh should be a consideration in peristomal hernia repair. Thank you.